Uh, we'll today look at a uh, few of the use cases where we can find answers from the data that gets ingested into MDC. What you see here is a representational architecture of MDC. Enterprise data could really grow big with several million transactions per day per site coming from several hundreds of sites. And we could possibly have several years of data in the site. Visualizing is the first step towards problem solving. As an operator or a supervisor or a manager, in plant apps, I can see my machines, my area, my lines, my crew, my activities, my roles, etc. Everything that has to do with my site. What MDC could add here is the business or the enterprise perspective to the same data. For example, uh, in which of the KPIs which I'm looking at is my site good at? Or... Uh, if I can learn from other sites which are performing better than my site. So let's create a simple app using MDC widgets to demonstrate this comparison. This would be the simple app that we would create. This app would run in the same UI client as your plant apps. Here you can see the worst and the best in your business and where you stand. You would also see the top reasons for availability in your site and how it could differ when viewed from the enterprise perspective. So let's get started. We'll start by creating the data source. To create the data source, select custom type for REST APIs. Enter the authentication settings, username and password. Select the auth type as OAuth. Enter the client ID secret and then save. Then go to queries. Select downtime, select the data source that you created, enter the base URL, query URL, query parameters, and header parameters. You can test this and then save. Um, since the plugin creation is pretty much standard for any plugin created on Observ, uh, I would assume that the plugins would be created. We would import the plugins and then make an association of these plugins to the query. As you can see, I have imported two types of plugins, sunburst charts and bar charts. Uh, both I have created using Plotly. Then I would select an app under MDC applications, select a suitable layout, then drag and drop the plugins. Later on, I would make association of page data to the data source that we created in our previous step. So here it is, we have created our first tab using MDC data. You can also create dashboards using GE Digital's advanced visualization, uh, Tableau using Web Data Connector and Power BI. We do have starter kits and demo videos for all of these. Let's now look at an analytics use case. This use case is from a CPG maker. Uh, it usually takes about 70 to 90 days for the products to be used by the customer from the date of its production. Uh, customer complaints of the products were reported for a few products. And uh, given the nature of the product, it was hard to get batch information for all the customer complaints that were received. The task was to identify those batches which could have produced these products and also to identify the reasons for the batches to be marked as a likely batch that could have caused customer complaints. From the historic data that was available in MDC, we could create analytics model using unsupervised machine learning techniques. Uh, this model was deployed to detect the batches that were produced and the measurements that were taken in real time. The model actually picked up the data and reported if the batch was a suspicious batch, which could actually potentially um, give rise to some customer complaints. The model also gave a list of variables which could have contributed to the problem. Here are some sample results. As you can see here, there are clusters of batches produced and the red dots indicates the batches which are deviating from the rest. You could also visualize the top 10, top 25, top 50 variables contributing to the batch 
being marked as a suspect match.